Greetings, Steve with Flowchecker here. Just a quick video on how to make your time and sales a little bit easier to read. You can see my time and sales here on the right-hand side of the screen. But first, if you want to check the float of your favorite stock, head on over to flowchecker.com. And we also have a scanner where you can filter stocks by float and short interest if you'd like. So check that out when you get a chance. So again, you can see time and sales here on the right-hand side of my screen. It has three columns representing time price and volume of sales as they're occurring during the day. The green will represent sales that are happening on the on the ask, so the, the price moving up, whereas the red is happening on the sales that are occurring on the bid. You think of the green as buying volume and the red as selling volume. So as a long, you know, someone who trades to the long side, I like to see a lot of green flashing here on this tape. But because that would indicate to me that if, you know a stock is in play, is seeing a lot of volume. For example, this stock this morning has seen a lot of volume. Um, part of the problem is with the default settings, you're going to be seeing every sale that's going through. Now, in the morning when you're looking at the chart, the level two and the time and sales, at least for someone like me, that's a lot of information to process. And if you're looking, if if you if you're looking at the time and sales. It, it can sometimes skew your bias either to the buy side or the sell side um, because you'll be seeing every single sale. So you, you, you might be seeing, you know, a, a lot of sales of just one share going through five shares and you'll see a lot of green flashing on the tape there. And you may be thinking, oh, this is something that I want to get involved in. So, but it, it, it might lead you to believe that there's more buying going on than there actually is. So what I've discovered is you can Head on over here where it's a size. If you click on that, if you left click, you can then filter out. You can show sales that are going through either two, five, 200, 500 um, shares at a time. You can also set up a custom fil size filter. So if I want to see a minimum of 100 shares going through, just put that into the input box. And then now, what that's going to do is just you can see that it's showing me now just sales that are going through at 100 shares or more and that is actually slowing the tape down so that has made it a bit easier for me to read and to filter out a lot of the noise of just the very sort of low volume sales that are going on so give that a try experiment with the different sizes and see if that helps you out take care see you in the next one